Mrs. Casey, you've been married to the defendant for less than a year. Due to your husband's trust issues, you're worried you won't make it to your one-year anniversary if you don't prove he is the biological father of your son, Jacob Hatfield. Is yes. that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Hatfield, you say sleeping with the babysitter landed you in a marriage with someone you don't trust. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Hatfield, did you have a good relationship before the marriage? Yeah. Did you have trust issues then? Right about the time that we were finding out that she was pregnant. That's supposed to be a happy time. What happened? She hadn't told me she'd quit taking her birth control or anything yet. We were talking about planning for the future okay. and a possible children in the future, not immediately at that moment. So you have trust issues. Yes. But at one time, this relationship was a happy one. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Mrs. Casey, take me back to that time. I had started babysitting for his family. I saw him, you know, thinking he was a cute guy. And we started chit-chatting. And he had said they had told me the rules. It was, you know, no running in and out of the house because it was hot that day. The air conditioner was on. Make sure the kids don't go in and out of the house and no sleeping with the babysitter on duty. <laughs> really? <laughs> I thought it was love at first sight. And so you instantly fell for him? Yes. I've been the side lady, and now I'm the main one. We're married, and I want this to be a happily ever after with my little family. And so, Mr. Hatfield, you slept with the babysitter. <laughs> Broke Eventually. the rules. But it was after hours. It wasn't during the time of being babysitting or anything like that. It wasn't? No. And me and Andrew proceeded to talk from that moment on. So you started dating? Yes. How did you get to a place where you thought she actually had slept with someone and Jacob may not be your biological son? By coming across text messages in her phone. Oh. I have... You've brought some to court? Brought some Jerome, to court. may I see that evidence, please? Thank you. You're welcome. They would be two of Miss Casey from somebody she was with prior to me. And so these text messages read, Are you up? What are you doing? I just got off. Can I come by? They're all questions with no responses. At the time, she's your wife? Before. And right before she got pregnant? This was right after she was pregnant. Okay. What it signaled to you was, if this was going on right after she got pregnant, was it going on right before? Exactly. Miss Casey, you remember these text messages? You recognize them? Sort of, kind of, yes. So, who could it be sort of, kind of? This guy had messaged me, asked me to be his mistress whenever he got married. I had told him flat out no. When did that start? It had happened after we had gotten pregnant. He was messaging me, asking me to hook up. I kept telling him no. I kept telling Mr. Hatfield about these messages. Was she honest, Mr. Hatfield, about the fact that this ex was reaching out, asking her to be his mistress? After it was brought up to me, yes, she was honest. But I still felt like there was missing side of the conversation. And this was a guy she was intimate with in the past, am I correct? Yes. yes. When he sent these text <laughs> messages, mm -hmm. you did not respond. Correct. And so, Mr. Hatfield, do you believe she did not respond? No. I was currently staying at her parents' house, and I was sitting in the garage with one of her family members when the guy in question had come in the back door and knocked on our bedroom door. He was looking for the family member. I felt like he was looking for Miss Casey because of the supposed person he was looking for was sitting in the garage with me. <laughs> oh. When the door come open and he realized I was sitting in the garage is when he spun around, grabbed the supposed person he was looking for and his current girlfriend and turned around and left. He also had made an appearance later on that evening when he had brought them back knocking on the door while me and her were lying down in bed at about 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning. What? So that tells me that there's something more than just these mysterious text messages. Miss Casey, who in their right mind knocks on somebody's door at 12.31 in the morning, period, much less a woman they used to sleep with unless they're interested in sleeping with her again and looking for her. He was looking to take my family member's girlfriend at the time home. Not at 12.31 o'clock in the morning when he come by. It was your name he was saying. I didn't hear that. Wait a minute. I was asleep. You said when he was knocking on the door, he was saying Miss Casey's name? Yes. 
but you're not pulling the part to where you cheated and you had other girls messaging you while I was still in bed with you. We were sleeping. Right. We were supposed to be uh, sleeping. And you you're were sending right. nude pictures to another girl. I haven't girl. said any of that because all this doubt that's here yeah, that's so caused a problem in our relationship we had, we even is the whole Jacob. reason we that still in I even went step out You were then. still sending naked pictures to other females and females were sending the same pictures to you. Now we get into the meat of this, okay? Because I couldn't understand how a perfectly happy couple, it was love at first sight, don't sleep with the babysitter, but I did, but it worked out, and we so happy, and then all of a sudden, changed the channel, and we got trust issues out the wazoo. So let's be honest, and that's why we're here. Mrs. Casey, did you have revenge sex with this man to get back at him because you thought he was having sex with his ex? No. I've never once cheated on him in the three years. So and why is it when we saw those text messages, we don't see a text that comes after that that goes, stop texting me, I'm married? Because he had blocked me on Facebook. I had blocked him, he blocked me. How are you gonna block somebody and you're waiting for them to respond to see if you can come over and have sex with them? That didn't make good sense. Because his girlfriend had found the messages. So she was looking at him and then at that point, he realized it and blocked it. Yes. This is so messy. You're saying Jacob doesn't look like you. No, he, he don't. He does. I'm fair skinned. It doesn't have to be the dad's. He doesn't have I, to be like if you would. Look I have. What color other... hair does this other guy have? Since you say Brown it doesn't hair. look like you. When he was younger, it was sandy, strawberry blonde. Now it's a little bit more brown during more time he spends in the sun. Now, my father and me share dark hair, dark complexion all the way through. I passed those jeans down on into my oldest son and he looks exactly like me, exactly like my father. But it doesn't matter because he could have both sides of the family. He could be a strawberry blonde and blue eyes. I want him to be my child. I signed the birth certificate. I was there when he was born. I'm not denying him one bit. The reason why we're here your today... Your family's bringing this up. There's text messages from your family saying, oh, you might as well go find Jacob's dad because you're not him. Was that a conversation between me and them? No, it wasn't. That it was a was, conversation though. between you and them. But it's... they're they're denying him that he's yours. You've denied him when he was two weeks old that he was not yours. So two weeks old. Miss Casey, after you had the baby, just two weeks later, he started to deny? Yes, because he came out with the blonde hair and blue eyes. And you're also receiving pressure in texts from his family yes. indicating that they but don't believe... it makes me feel like I'm just a tramp or whatever, that I just, you know, open my legs for anybody. I don't. I've been faithful to this man for three years. I want my family to be whole. I don't want it to be broken up. I understand. I hope I'm wrong Well, you with are that. doubting him. I have doubts in everything to do with it. I need to be sure so I know how to take care of this. And boyfriend. these doubts started to occur during her pregnancy. Yes. Yes. And so throughout the pregnancy, you had doubts. Once I started having doubts, it came to a point to where a month or two later, I basically broke it off with her. I stepped away from the relationship. I sent her but back he to her mom fully and dad. But he told me we were split yes, up. Yes, I he did. He told she... me he loved me and we were still together. I... He couldn't wait to see me and everything else. So we weren't fully... He would come to see me. I would, because you were pregnant. But you told me you loved hoping. me. We still... And I do we love you. I did love you then. when you were with another female, though. Just because I was staying there don't contact. mean I was sleeping with her at the time. That was but a place to stay. But she said that you guys were and you were still sleeping in the same bed with her. And again... So this is the, during so the so marriage? Did the guy, so did no, the guy, this was during whenever I was first pregnant. So did the guy that these text messages and everything else were from. He said he was sleeping no, with I you during you that the time. Times. I've never once cheated. I've been faithful to you for three years. Mr. Hatfell, you said there's also medical reasons why you believe you are not Jacob's biological father. Jacob has one kidney. He's had to have surgery. He has to see a urologist every six months to once a year now. I've been there every step of the way from birth to now with the boy. And I, I can see that can makes you emotional him. when you talk and about him. I, I just want to be able to take care of him the best as possible and get everything between me and her better because to take care of him and his brother the best that we can, we cannot have this back and forth. It's bad for the kids. It teaches them bad habits. It gets them yelling and screaming at people and then they feel the tension and they don't want to mind or listen. We got to get this under wraps now before it gets any further out of control or we're going to have to step back from each other. I just want to know what we need to know for Jacob. And I know it hurts you. I can see that. 
You bring this baby, you help bring this child into the world. You say you've been with them every step of the way. Every step of the way. I missed one sonogram. During the time of all this, the, the doubt and everything taking place, I was getting up at 4.35 o'clock in the morning. I'd be at work by 6 after an hour drive. I'd work 10 to 15 hours a day and then come back home, and then this is what I get. And, and you believe, Mr. Hatfield, that this is further proof that you are not Jacob's biological father. Explain to the court why you believe that. Mm -hmm. I don't know anybody in my immediate family, let alone in my family tree, that has any of the same issues. But it doesn't situations. matter. It doesn't matter if it's hereditary. The doctor said it can't be hereditary. It could, but then it could not. The doctor also said that it's more likely hereditary on one side or the other if it does not fall with the Down syndrome gene, and Jacob clearly does not. We have an expert here because I am very interested in hearing more about birth defects or this particular issue of being born with one kidney and how that potentially relates to paternity. So the court would like to call Dr. Tasha Rogers to the courtroom. Jerome, will you please escort her in? Sure. Maybe go up to witness stand next to the judge. Okay. Watch your step going up. Okay. Hi, doctor. Hi. How are you? Thank you so much for joining us today. We are here discussing paternity of a beautiful little 12-month-old boy, Jacob. He was born with a medical issue, having one kidney. Okay. And our potential dad, uh, Mr. Hatfield, he's confused as to whether or not this is hereditary. First thing I want to ask you is what's the difference between birth defects and genetic defects? Okay. A birth defect is a random error of uh, conception that has no genetic basis at all. A genetic defect is when the chromosomes of mom and dad come together and something happens. Understood. And so if a child is born with one kidney, could this defect be considered hereditary? And if, if yes, what's the likelihood that it's inherited? Okay. Um, when we talk about um, having one kidney or uh, renal agenesis, it is what we call multifactorial, meaning it is multiple reasons, and we're not exactly sure why. Um, it can be environmental. Um, is mom on a medication? Has she been exposed to some toxins? Um, lifestyle, obesity, drug use, alcohol use, or very rarely is it genetic, and that's if there's a mutation. So even if it is genetic, dad could simply be, or mom could simply be a carrier, meaning they could have both kidneys, but just carry the gene. And here, I believe Mr. Hatfield testified that Jacob does not have any such mutation. Is that correct? Correct. And so given that fact, how does this relate to the possibility that this could affect his doubt concerning his paternity? The genetics of it is minimal. We, we give minimal weight to genetics in it. So it's no way of saying that he's his or not based on that. So the fact that he really has had these sleepless nights thinking, this child was born with one kidney, I wasn't born with one kidney, mm -hmm. no one in my family, that really has no true basis. None. And yet if somehow they miss this mutation, then it could possibly be a genetic issue? It could be, yes. All right. So the question is, will this marriage survive? I hope. If he is not your biological child? There's gonna be a serious step back in the marriage. Cause this foundation is feeling very faulty right now. It, that's the way it's felt to me for a long time. I mean, even the energy between the two of you standing before me, you would have to tell me you married. <laughs> no, I would not know. The stakes are very high today. Yes, they are. But I'm very thankful that we have answers for you. Jerome, I'm ready for the results. There you go. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Casey versus Hatfield, when it comes to one-year-old Jacob Hatfield, it has been determined by this court Mr. Hatfield, you are the father. Sorry. 
actually, I'm relieved to tell you the truth. You know, you all know I don't know these <laughs> results, okay? I was like, Lord, come on. But really, you, it's I mean, my birthday. <laughs> it is? <laughs> well, what a blessing. <laughs> really, truly. What a blessing. And I can see it meant something to you. I could almost feel your breath stop as I was reading the results. And then when I read it, I could hear that sigh of relief. And it's a beautiful thing to get the truth. And I'm happy for you both. Because at the end of the day, the genesis of this was something beautiful. And then we let trust issues affect the foundation of this family. And ultimately, it affected the way in which we view this beautiful, innocent child. And I can see that affects you because you knew it was affecting it. Mm -hmm. All right, based upon the papers submitted to the court, I can say I have never seen a case like this. Mr. Nicholas, you have brought your wife to court today. Yes, ma'am. You claim you cannot be the father of four-year-old Naomi or one-year-old Nathaniel because your wife is a habitual cheater and she cannot be trusted. You say you have shocking evidence of your wife's outrageous sexual infidelity, including encounters with strangers in public places and affairs with your co-workers. Mrs. Nicholas, you actually admit that you've made some mistakes in your marriage, but you claim you have now turned your life around and you are a church-going woman who deserves another chance. You state that once Church these point. DNA tests prove yeah. Mr. Nicholas is the father of all of your children, you are hoping to repair your marriage. Mr. Nicholas. Yes, ma'am. Feel free to right. enlighten the court. Let me tell you this first of all. You know, the sushi spot I used to work at, right, is a hot stuff. People come in, in and out. Right? Some guy comes up to me and tells me, shut up to my face, that my wife is performing oral sex in the bathroom. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait. Yeah. Wait a minute. You're at work. Yeah. At the sushi restaurant. Yes, ma'am. And a guy just yeah. comes up to you. And tells me that she's performing oral sex in the bathroom. Hold up. Rewind. During your yeah. shift. Yeah, during my shift while I was working. Okay, and then you did what? I continued working. What am I supposed to do? I couldn't leave my job. And so were you ever able to prove or disprove that this really happened? No, ma'am. That's the problem. I couldn't, like, uh, it's allegations coming from other people. You know, okay, I can't... so that's hearsay. We never yeah, got it's... any proof on that. Hold the on, first of all, why would I bring a guy to a girl's bathroom? It's the mall. Come on, now, you, you have so many stories about yourself. I right? messed up joint... in the past. That was, yeah. that was the past. We were in yeah, high school that your, time. You got a high school reputation. Come on. I know I have a lot of boyfriends and all that and mess around. What about all the stories that other people are telling me? Like Great America. I didn't do nothing okay. with him. I just kissed him. It was my old... I'm almost afraid to ask, but please tell me that story. What, Great America? Yes. Yeah, we're in high school. You know, we're high school sweethearts. We've been together for a while. And then, you know, we... She comes up and tells me straight to my face that she made out with somebody. That I just am telling that you the, the truth. the first time. She, she, she cheated on me. That was the first time. Yeah, that, that's when we were in high school. That was the past. We were in yeah, high school that your, time. But what about all the stories that other people are telling me? Come on now. All right, so tell us these stories you're talking about, Mr. Oh, uh, the Nicholas. Transformer rides. Okay, let me get that straight down. You know, she went into the Transformer rides with my seven-year-old daughter. Okay, I'll tell you that straight up. You know, I sat down because my two, you know, my one-year-old son and my four-year-old daughter can't go on a ride. All right, so I had to watch him. And then after the show was done, some lady comes up, tells, tells me straight to my face that my wife was having sex in the ride. Having sex in the ride? First of all, why would I have sex while my daughter was in the ride with me? And the chair just, the ride, the chair moves. Come on. I'm not that dumb. Yeah, let me get my point straight. Then why did my seven-year-old daughter come tell me straight to my face that you're jumping up and down some dude's lap? So your daughter came off the ride that she was riding with her mom yeah. and told you Mommy's jumping around on some... Some dude's lap. That's, some that's, dude you know, after, that's after the old lady told me. The lady told me your no, name. No, you're my name? There's a bunch of girls named Angela. No, Come on no. now. I'm no. trying to... <laughs> Come on, there's a lot of people named Angela. Oh, yeah, It can't yeah. be me. Yeah. On the ride at that time with their seven-year-old child. No, yeah. what I'm trying to understand, so, Mr. Nicholas, is... Who are all these people that just feel the need to tell yeah. you about your yeah, wife but, all the time? Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't close you myself. I don't know, whole, you know, I don't know if everybody wants trying to back us up or what. I don't know. All right. Any other thing you'd like to yeah, let the, the pizza court joint. know about your wife's yeah. infidelity? Yeah. For example, the pizza joint I used to work at. Mm -hmm. You know, my manager. She was having an affair with my manager. So tell me that. Oh, well, yes. Yeah. I mean, honestly, yes, I did have an affair. On top of that, every time I try to talk 
to you, you just, just not he, fit for me. Just because he's been buying you diapers, all that. On diapers? Air. Yeah, every time I ask you, you just take off. You spend your money on something else. Come on now. So she asks you for money for the diapers for the baby. Yes, ma'am. You say you give it to her. No. Nope. You say he does not. Mm mm. That's what you do. And then yeah, because I'm stressed you up because ask you. his coworker to get you some diapers. And I need someone to talk to, and he was there to comfort me. He's not. In, you sleep with him too. Yes, Am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. How did you find out that she had slept with the coworker that got the diapers? Hmm. She told me she left her panties there. I did not leave panties there. Uh, what? No. No, you told me you left your panties there. Oh my Would god. Would you know the panties were missing? I don't. I'm not understanding. No, she told me she just. Told... I left my panties there. I never said that. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, you know, she did a snap no. too. No, I didn't take no snap. No, no, no. I just put that in now. No. Don't worry about that. Miss Nicholas, did you tell him that? No, I did no. not. How did you figure this out? Uh, first of all, her cell phone. No, I don't even talk to anybody. I've been with my kids 24/7. Where you been? I know working. you work. I know you work, but working. the time when you're not working. Time not working? Yeah, I'm with my cousin. Your cousin are you sure your cousin or the other chick? <laughs> All right. Do you have an answer to that, Mr. Nicholas? Can I ask you one question? Is Basically. it cheating if I were to go, you know, kick it with another female and just talk to her about my problem? Is that considered There's cheating? emotional cheating too, Mr. Nicholas. Yeah. I know I've been with other guys, but I'm sorry. Yeah. I know, I know I messed up in the past. That's the past. Okay, can you please just explain to me what about the dude you slept with that looks dead on just like me? Oh, I meant that one. <laughs> oh, it just keeps getting <laughs> not better. Uh, you so, Mrs. Business. Nicholas, did you sleep with someone that looks just like your husband? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah. I'm being honest with you. Yeah. At least I, I told you a wrong letter when you're out of business. Come and on now. Tell the court why. Why did you do that? Yeah, tell me. Why? I'm, I'm sorry. It just looked like you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mess with him, but it just looked like you're all thinking about you most of the time. Come on now. I mean, you know, what other reason do I need? The reason I'm here, I want to do the DNA and prove him wrong, because I'm getting tired of him saying that, oh, they're not my kids, they're not my kids. Come on. They just look like you. But so does the other guy you slept with. Sorry. Do you understand why he potentially, maybe, could have some doubt? Do you understand? Yeah, because I cheated on him, but hey, all but the, the time when hey, I was cheating. The kids don't look like me, though. But they look like me, that's why. Huh. Come on now. No, there's got to be a part of it where the kids got to look like me. Yeah, they, 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 are, they do now. What I want to know is, how did it come to this in this marriage? Ms. Nicholas, explain to me, why are you going outside of your marriage, uh, trying to find someone that looks like your husband to have sex with? Because at the time, he, him yeah. treat, like, he treats me like yeah. at home. Let's use better language oh, in sorry. the court. He called me names. I know I messed yeah, I up. Call, yeah, I called you names because you deserve it. No, I've been with other guys, but I'm sorry. Yeah. But Mr. Nicholas, didn't you say in high school she had? A bad reputation, and yet you still married her. Yeah, because yeah, you know why? It's not. I married her because, you know, yeah, I was a nerd. I'll tell you that. I was fat, little chubby, little kid. You know what I mean? I was probably the rebound. You know the rebound, <laughs> Miss Nicholas. I gotta ask you, how many affairs have you had? Miss Nicholas, I gotta ask you. How many affairs have you had? How many affairs when and I was when with him? was the last one? Yes. The last time was um, How his many? business trip. Huh? I mean, I, 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 I said roll the letter and told you the truth. Excuse me. How many? How many times? How, I mean, how, how, many, times? Many? how many times have you had sex? How many times? Less than 10, 10 different guys. While we're True. still married. <laughs> While we're still married. <laughs> That's, That's, some yeah. of them, I don't sleep with them. Yeah, I kissed them. It's, yeah. It's, is that cheating? Kissing is cheating? Yeah. Oh, yes? Oh, okay. Read the Bible. Yes, let me make that ruling right now. Yes, it is. Is it cheating? Um, you know, is it cheating? Miss Nicholas, Miss, he, he's, Your Honor, he's been at this girl's house for two, three nights, and I'm yeah. trying calling him, I'll and he you. never picks up. You staying at an, another woman's house? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> is he? 
You all obviously never heard the phrase, two wrongs don't make a right, yeah, have that's, you? you know, yeah. that's... Whoa! Two wrongs don't make a right. I know that, but the thing is, I gotta hear from another woman's perspective, what am I supposed to do? I can't just go talk to another guy, because if I were to talk to another guy, he's gonna be like, oh, slick Rick, and come in and try to take my woman. <laughs> I mean, Take he's, he's gonna be like, okay, that's your problem. Right. Mr. Nicholas, you know as a man you've gotten some things wrong. Yeah, of course. Yeah, if I'm, you apologize, I'm... You won't, and we won't fight every single day like we at home. Huh. Just drop everything and start new. How am I like gonna... a normal How... couple. Yeah, dude, after, after all this stuff you, you did to me, I can't... You both have tears in your eyes right now. I can't sleep. I haven't slept for days just because I'm stressing about you. Yeah, no wonder you just keep on waking me up every time. I'm always with you 24 7. What? Okay, listen, <laughs> Your Honor. He's excusing me that I'm cheating with another person, sneaking around at night, and half the time he's been awake and I'm always with him. Sounds That's like to I... me that both of you are accusing the other one of doing a lot of things, yeah. but the problem is, is that both but, of Your you Honor... are doing the no, other thing. But at the end can of I... the day, I'm looking at Mr. Nicholas right now. And I see a man that's standing here emotional still over his wife. So I see love. Despite all of this dysfunction, I see love. And what the court is trying to understand is we've got children here now that I'm sure love the both of you. And I'm trying to get down to the bottom of not just whether or not Mr. Nicholas is their father, but why you two can't seem to love each other appropriately, mm -hmm. when you obviously do love each other. Yeah, I do love yeah, him. Yeah, I do love him. I just want everything to work out, all right? I want to be a happy family with white picket fence in front of our house. Oh. <laughs> That's all I want. I just... I'm tired of being hurt. All right, I'm, I'm sorry, tired. too. I'm sorry, that was no, the past. Can you just let go of the past and start new for once? Like... Nah, I'm sorry. It's gonna be done. It's gonna be done? It's done. I'm tired of being hurt. Miss Nicholas, what would you like to say to your husband? I love him a lot, but there's time I really do want to get out of the house because all you just argue, argue, argue. I want to stop the arguing. I'm not controlling. Arguing. I never control you. You never control me? No. Really? I let you go. I let you go out with your mom. No, you don't. <laughs> That's so lie. Oh no, no, don't. We have the results here today, but I need some information before we get to the results. These results pertain to two beautiful children. You see them? Aren't they worth more than the tit for tat that you all do all day long? Yeah. Look at them. I believe they are worth the effort. Come on now, tell me he don't look like me. <laughs> he does look like you. Come on. Yeah, just because we've got both ponytails, that doesn't mean anything. What do you want from your marriage and your family? I want him to stop calling me names for once and just be like a normal couple and just be there for the kids, not just say, oh, they're not my kids. I, I'm tired of hearing that. I hear that almost every single day. And he wants you to stop cheating. Can you do that? Yeah, I told him I stopped cheating. My, no. When my son oh. was born, I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop everything. I'm gonna tell you the truth from okay. now on that day. I've been telling you the truth every single day. All right, I think it's time for the results. Jerome, do you have the... Yes, I do. Here you go. Envelope, thank you. When it comes to four-year-old Naomi Nicholas... Uh-oh, here we go. Mr. Nicholas, I know she's been the apple of your eye. Mm -hmm. You love that little girl. Mm -hmm. It has been determined that you are her father. Hey, I told you so! Get the lunch pit up, man. I told you so. I mean, tell Yeah, that's more. Are you ready for the next result? Yes, ma'am. How about this? If the result's true, I'm gonna get your 16 diamond ring back. How about that? Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. So, with that said, Jerome. Here you go, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. Yeah.
as it relates to one-year-old Nathaniel Nicholas. It has been determined, Mr. Nicholas, that you are his father. Exactly, I told you from the beginning. God, I told you. Uh, How do you feel, Mr. Nicholas? Relieved, really relieved. I'm super happy. I'm gonna be the respectful father that they need. Good, Miss Nicholas, you're very emotional right now. What do you feel? I'm, I'm relieved. I've been telling him this is his kids, but every single day he said, oh, those are my kids, they don't look like me. Come on I now. Apo I apologize, okay, I'm sorry. Can you accept his apology? Can you understand, honestly, please, please, as please. a woman, why this man would have some doubt? Everybody in here gets it, do you? No, let's keep it real. No, Do I you? Messed... Yeah, I messed up. Because the only way to move forward and change your past behavior is to realize and own what you've done wrong. Now, y'all done got it all wrong, both of you. <laughs> but you've got three incredible reasons why you should try to get it right. Now, there are a lot of people that come before me where I go, I love it, I love it. Okay. This is what this courtroom is all <laughs> I gotta look up about. Her. That's all right. <laughs> That's wonderful to see. You all have been through it. You've done pretty much everything you guys can do to one another, but I still see love. I just wanna say that. And down. as long as there's love, there's hope. Is for you both to decide that you want to be the, the kind of people that can love and connect and have a family. And both of you want the same things. Just make it happen. It's a choice. Do it for those children. They are worth it. I want you to raise a beautiful family and live the lives you want to live. Good luck to you both. Court is adjourned. <laughs>